Hey, we're Naked, we're Giants. Naked Giants. And you're uh, listening to and watching to Austin Underground. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Mark with Austin Underground, and we're here at South by Southwest with Naked Giants. How y'all doing today? Doing Hi, well. Mark. How are you, man? I'm doing pretty good. So, this is y'all's second time at South by Southwest. How are you enjoying it so far? It's great. This year is better than last, I think. Yeah? Yeah, we got, uh, I think we got a lot more good food this time. Yeah, we did. Well, last year was riddled with Take 5, but this year it's riddled with Cliff. The bar, that is. That's pretty good. So, how it is, um, how's playing a music festival compared to other shows that you've having to play? Well, um, for starters, uh, the South by Southwest is kind of a strange music festival, as you know. Um, it's very sprawling, very large, lots of shows, all maybe even in one day. Um, but in general, festivals are kind of fun because there's like built-in crowds, everybody's already like having a great time. A lot of times they're on drugs or under the influence of alcohol, which for some reason makes people like music more. Yeah. Um, so festivals are pretty cool, but we like playing smaller shows too. It's, it just kind of depends. I mean, the vibes are different, but also equally enjoyable. And you were saying that this year's better than last year. Does that have to do with like the kind of shows? Well, y'all are playing like Friday, right? Mm -hmm. So would you say that um, it will be different, any different from last year? I mean, we're, we're getting, uh, I think, a, a better shows last year. We have a few more uh, better shows than last year, a few more than last year. And I'm actually 21 now. I was 20 last year. So I can actually get into stuff and uh, enjoy the atmosphere of South by more than when we were all 20 and kind of had to stay outside in the back and whatever. Yeah, we were staying in uh, Kyle, Texas last year. Shout out to Kyle, Texas. Uh, Kyle's great. Um, and this year... It was a bit of a, a longer drive than we have this year to get into Austin. So Yeah, you know, it's a little more quiet out of the city. Um, this year we're a little closer, staying-wise. So We get to really catch the Austin vibe. And we love it here. Austin's great. It's a foodie city. It's, it's a city for foodies. And musicies. Tuners. And drinkers. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so y'all have an EP release party coming up in October. Oh, you... that was last October. OK. <laughs> so how was that? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good. I yeah. mean, um, we can't look forward to it anymore, but we yeah. can look back on it kindly. So what can you tell us about that, about that EP? Well. It's titled R.I.P., the R.I.P. EP, and it has six songs on it, and they flow in chronological order. That's uh, cool. In addition, uh, they're, they're pretty old songs. They're like some of the first songs we wrote as a band. Um, so it's called R.I.P. because we kind of wanted to just rest them in peace so we didn't have to, you know, record them again or try to put them out and hopefully stop playing them so much, but we haven't done that. We still play them all the time. But, um, yeah, it was a fun release. It's on cassette on Miscreant Records in New York, and they did a great job with it. So we're psyched to have something out there. But we're looking forward to our full-length release, which is TBD. So. To be decided. To be determined. <laughs> Are there any moments in particular that inspired some of the songs on that EP? Uh, one of the songs is called Stoned, and there's many moments that inspired that one. Uh, other than that, the song Pyramids uh, has a strange time signature that was kind of a formative experience for us figuring out as a band to all kind of like collaborate and figure out how the song was going to go. So I think that that kind of marks a change in our in our band flow and history because we all really started writing together then. Yeah. yeah. That's true. And you guys were talking about a full release coming up soon. Is there anything else in the future that you might be able to tell us? Um, well, it's all very under wraps right now, um, much like a uh, mummy. Or Quiznos. But basically, we're waiting to get on a label. We have some seeing us here, and we're hoping to get that full length out within about a year, maybe 2018. Um, yeah. But if we don't get on a label, we're just going to put that fucker out. Yeah. Yeah, just go for it, yeah. honestly. So it's South by Southwest. Are there any artists and bit or bands in particular that you're excited to see? Hmm. Well, um, we just went on tour with 
uh, Power Bottom. We played a few shows with them on the East Coast, so it'll be nice to reconnect with them. They're all really nice people. Um, some of the shows are, like Grant said, uh, Henry and I can't really get into them because we're only 20. But I guess we'll just kind of surf and see what... It, I think the best thing is the spontaneity. Yeah, our, our friends Nehi are playing a couple more shows, and I love seeing them yesterday. They're a great band to see. Uh, I want to see the OCs at some point. They play a few shows at Hotel Vegas every year. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of stuff going on. It's hard to even navigate and figure it out, but we're going to catch some good ones. <laughs> yeah, if I, uh, if I have the luck uh, on, the, on my side this year, I'd be able to um, get into some shows. <laughs> Honestly, we were trying to get into this like metal show last night, and it said on a website that it was like 18 plus. But when we got to the venue, it said like 21 plus. Oh, yeah. So that was like, all right. So my final question for y'all is: Would you rather be tone deaf or have no sense of rhythm? Oh God. Well, if you're like Henry, then you got neither. Uh, I'm just kidding. That's a joke. <laughs> oh, he's out out with the dab. Um, <clears throat> That's a tough one. I guess uh, tone deaf because, you know, rhythm is one of the most important foundations of the universe. Uh, well, if Gianni's gonna be gonna be tone deaf, then I better have no sense of rhythm so that we can still be in a band together. Because I think if you had two people with no rhythm or two people who are tone deaf, that band ain't gonna sound good. Yeah. But if you're asking just me, I'm gonna agree with him. I would definitely rather be tone deaf. Uh, Henry. Would you rather be um, tone deaf or have no sense of rhythm? Tone deaf. Because they don't even give me a mic anyways. Oh. <laughs> not going to drop that. Thank you for not dropping it. All right, so this was Naked Giants. And you can follow, you can follow all of us on, on all our social medias. We're Austin Underground. Thank you guys for watching.